can't even. Uh oh. Alright, apparently we couldn't wait till the intro was done to start, so I'm I'm leaving it all in, everybody. I don't I'm not I'm not, I'm not uh, what? it's hilarious, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Sly, what are you doing? You're ruining the show, man. You're ruining the show. Ruining or making better. I guess either one works. Hello everyone and welcome to State of the Realm Weekly Final Fantasy 14 podcast. And this show we're gonna be talking about the live letter 20, but it's, uh, it's not your everyday show because uh, we have a special guest. But first, before we switch the cameras on right now, let me just uh, introduce my weekly co-host. We have Sa... <laughs> See, now yeah. I can't do it. You're making me giggle. <laughs> we have Samuel Sly, a.k.a. Sly the Fox, a.k.a. Sly, a.k.a. Gray Fox, a.k.a. You're my boy, Blue! You my boy, Blue. I'm sorry. It, it, there was just some hilarious shit. Sorry. It's, all, it's all right, Sly. I forgive you. And I don't know why I'm acting like it's any secret who the other guest is when I just remembered the title screen has her face on it. I don't. I think we're all over the place tonight. Anyway, and our guest host, a member of the Dream Network. Everyone's favorite. Don't do it yet. I'll tell you when the camera's on. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't do it yet. Um, it, all right. Let me. Yeah. Guest host. We have a guest, whatever. Hey, Ms. Tech, how you doing now? The cameras are on. <laughs> We're all just anticipating it. There <laughs> it is. <laughs> See, that was what I was laughing at. Who she boxes? Yes. Yeah, I couldn't stop laughing at it. It was ruining my intro to the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was hilarious. She just made the quick Ms. face right before it just got to me. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm that was sorry. You, like now I'm all off my game slide. How you, how are you doing, Ms. Tech, aka MTQ Capture? I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'm actually I'm gonna wax my mustache very quickly here. Ow. Ooh. It actually sounded it like is... it hurts. It sounded pain. <laughs> uh it's great to be here. I'm a little nervous, but I think we're gonna have a really good show, maybe. A showdown. Unless I screw it up. We'll of see. all things. Oh, a, a showdown. Show that's right, that's right. We're because battling. we hate each other according to the internet. That's right. And Sly is our referee. Yep. That's why he's in the middle, guys. Yep, must be in the middle. <laughs> well, Sly, ring the bell. What are you doing? <laughs> we got to start this show. Yeah, I didn't actually. You don't mm. have to actually ring a bell. Just, mm. I didn't because I was. I wanted to see the look on your face when I said to ring the bell because you were like, "Uh, what? <laughs> I'm supposed to have a bell? Okay. Thanks. Okay. There we go. Just let me know. All right, so we have a lot to talk about on this episode. Um, Live letter twenty, which was a big one. The double X, and it. It was less of a live letter Q&A than most of the other ones usually are, where they kind of just take a question and answer. But it was a ton of stuff that they spoke about, things that we've been asking for anyway. So um, real quick, before we get into the individual topics, uh, Ms., since you're the guest, I'll let you go first. What was your overall impression of the live letter? Like, how, how did you feel at the end of the live letter? Well, uh, I was asleep, so... <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty comfortable in my, you know, my bed. It was, it was nice and warm. The sun was coming up. Uh, honestly, I did not watch the live letter live, so obviously I just sort of read the recap, watched the trailer, and sort of read and, uh, I don't know, got the summary. But uh, at the end of that, it was, uh, it was good. It was like, I was kind of excited. Actually, first off, the trailer when I first started watching it, I was a little like disappointed because I thought it was just going to be the exact same thing all over again. But after the trailer, I was incredibly hyped, incredibly like looking forward to. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely waiting for it. Um, the live letter itself was kind of meh, but I don't know. As we go through it, I think we can we can talk about it. But overall, it was kind of meh. But I'm really really excited about that trailer. And what about you, Sly? Was it was the live letter meh for you? Yeah, it was meh. You're I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we pretty much already heard. We we got a few new tidbits, and then of course there's the trailer, Goon Hype, everyone. Goon of hype. course, of course. Yes, thank you, thank you. By the way, Miz, what do you think about Derp Lender switching from Warrior to Goon now? Uh, flavor of the month, much? <laughs> like, come on. Uh, really, really. <laughs> Really? I don't know. I'm just the referee. It was referee. interesting. Referee. It was interesting. It was. I feel like it was interesting to see, but mm -hmm. we'll see. I did read on Reddit. Like I 
was not aware of this game in 1.0, but apparently in like the 1.0 trailers, he was what? What was he, a bard? No, something else. And he like switched to warrior, and now he's switching to dragoon. Yeah, I, re- I remember that. That's oh, the 1.0 trailer. We don't need to go back that far. <laughs> <It's> such... <laughs> all right, sorry for trying to get so many blasted. nightmares. <laughs> so but I think sorry. if like instead of um, like him actually switching classes, switching roles, like a lot of people will probably do come the expansion. I think it was more like symbolic, where you know he goes from being the warrior of light to becoming this like you know taking up arms and you know helping and I don't know. That's I'm a little bit more optimistic, I guess like that it's it's more symbolic and artistic than it is i don't know just <laughs> you know ditching warrior just to play pick up dragoon but who knows maybe you're right sly maybe everyone will be dragoon i mean I think, he's just, I think he's just trying to get all classes to 50 that's all all classes to 50 yes yeah. you know what i think i think he was literally just like okay i'm a warrior <laughs> that dragon's in the sky that dude can jump I, all yeah. right I got to do that. I got to be able to jump higher because this is not going to work otherwise. He looked useless on that bridge in the middle of the trailer. <laughs> but that was actually the first thing that we really wanted to get in was the trailer itself. So I'm glad that you kind of uh, led into that. Because, yeah, the trailer was great. But most of it was kind of just 2.55 stuff that we had already seen with a little bit more focus on an individual that we spoke about last week. Uh, Lolo Rito. They... I, I could barely see him smiling, but I know with that little Lollafell mustache over his lips that he was smiling. He's the big baddie. He's going to be the big He's baddie up. alongside of everyone else. And everyone wants the Lollafells to be dead, and I don't want that. What do you guys think about Lolo? I don't uh, think he's the... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Miss. No, go right ahead. I'm just thinking. This is my thinking noise. <laughs> thinking noise. I don't think he's the big baddie. There's, there's a puppet master behind the strings, like pulling the strings. Like, he's just a puppet. Is? Now that you say that, my mind's like racing with all these like <laughs> possible plot points. Um, honestly, I feel like I kind of agree with Sly. Like, I don't think he is the supreme mastermind, the supreme baddie. There has to be something else there that we just don't know about yet. And I would like to think that all the events of 2.55 aren't just... Uh, kind of like cleaning the slate for the expansion. I kind of hope that they'll sort of carry into the expansion. And so in the expansion, we'll kind of figure out what exactly it is like driving Lolito to be so evil. But I don't know. We'll see. What if it's, if everyone was saying this last week, what if it's Tataru? <laughs> Ugh, maybe. No, there's no the way. Smiles and stuff. All I know is I better get my car before she switches over. Listen, I went through all the <laughs> facial expressions on Rogan Day. All of them make you look like you're a bad person because they're all scary. <laughs> Even on females? I, I'd imagine. <laughs> they're real <laughs> scary. Um, but other than that, the, like the trailer was a great way to start it off. But after that, it was just a barrage of answers that. We pretty much all thought, like, because the way that A Realm Reborn has kind of been shaped up to this point, we've kind of grown into almost a level of expectation, and it's when they break those expectations that we're really surprised. But almost everything that the community guessed pretty much just came to fruition in this one. So let's go through some of those things. First thing, main scenario, it'll be as long as A Realm Reborn's. Didn't they tell us this, like, when they announced it? Mm-hmm. Dragon Song War, didn't they tell us that when they announced the expansion? <laughs> A lot of stuff we got at fan fest, so yeah, yeah. Fifty hours though, they didn't tell us fifty hours particularly. Did a realm reborn was a realm reborn really fifty hours with watching cutscenes? Was it? I know. I don't remember. I know. I've spent more than fifty hours getting through like main scenario, everything. Like, yeah, it's more than fifty hours. I swear it was because I watched all the cutscenes before before we had people complain about speedruns. Don't watch the cutscene in Praetorium. We sat there and we watched it. I do not remember it being fifty hours. That's a lot of time. That's more than that's more than most sixty dollar games, and that's just the story of the basic thing that we're starting with here. Is you guys gonna skip cutscenes? You're gonna watch it? <laughs> <laughs> Who skips cutscenes? <clears throat> Uh, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> uh, so I just, I have this like aversion to leveling uh, in any game. And it's nothing to say against the actual games themselves. I just am one of those people that wants to get to end 
level as much as or as quickly as possible. So I probably will be skipping the cutscenes my first time around. I know unsubscribe, unlike oh god, Mystic, who are you? But uh, I, that's why I have a second character so that I can actually take my time the second time around when I'm not upset and you know wanting to power level just to watch those cutscenes, but. First time around, I feel like if it's something that like piques my interest, I'll watch it. But if it's stupid, like fetch quests, I will go pick up fifty of these while I talk oh, to God, you about don't it. Say fifty. Don't give them any <laughs> ideas, miss. Ugh. I just finished my relic quest, so I'm like, I have no trust for SE right now. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how how they start off. If there's cool cutscenes, I'll probably watch them. But if it's just boring stuff, I will probably be skipping them. Watch them later with uh, some popcorn at the inn. Yeah, I, I like the inn room is amazing for that. A agreed, agreed, and Sly watches it. We are, Sly, we already know. Me and you are watching them, man. We got we got two weeks till Alexander comes out. That could, I can finish the cutscenes in two weeks. We can finish that. We got plenty of time, and we're gonna be bringing that up here because that's gonna be a big thing. But first, we gotta go over all the stuff they just decided to give us one new detail about <laughs> the new race for the. 50th time let's put the hour on the screen the difference is we found out what the two different versions of them are going to be like we have dunes folk uh lalafell is one of them i can remember plains folk is the other one um it's the ra rain which i'm sure i destroyed it's probably raw rain and the zela are the two different versions of it now we're not going to go into the lore of each of them that which was actually explained on the official forums but are you okay miss since i have you on the show for the first time i'll ask you because i've had to ask Kali this like six times now are you gonna be an aura at all when the expansion comes do you have that fantasia waiting or you're using <laughs> the one from the collector's edition i probably won't switch my main character uh but i was thinking pretty seriously thinking about switching my alt who started off as femro is now currently a lalafell and i'll probably switch her to maybe fem aura i'm not too sure uh when i saw the live letter like the first one a long time ago. The males looked really, really cool. I wasn't too sure about the females until this past live letter where we uh, saw a little bit more. So I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I think I might do it just to try it, but I don't know. I don't really like switching classes or not classes, races, I guess. Well, it's because it's, if it's a decision you don't like, it's another $10 down the drain to go back on your decision. I can understand yes. that. Yeah. And on top, so wait, you went from a Femro to a Lollafell. That's a pretty drastic change. <laughs> Very. Yes. Very. Um, I don't even know why I did it. I think it was because everyone, like, in our FC, everyone that had an alt, the alt was a Lollafell. So there was, like, all this peer pressure to switch to Lollafell. <laughs> and I gave in. It's better than my I kind of miss the Femro, though. The Femro is pretty awesome. Femros aren't bad. What, uh, Merlewub is a, is a Femro? Yeah. Exactly. And we know Sly yeah. loves Merlewub. I have a shrine of her in my yeah. personal housing. Do you have a shrine of her, Sly? No. We put you on the spot this time. You can time. use mine. It's no, okay. No, 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 no. Like, it's not even, well, I'm not the head of the FC. The head of the FC decided to put Nanimo up there. You got a private room? I'm assuming you pay 300k for it. Hell no. <laughs> Hell known. no. Should have known better, Sly. Mm. All right, so our uh, whatever. Side quests, fantastic, right? Like, ooh, new job quests. Existing jobs will get new quests. Like, come on, we're not stupid. We knew that. I don't, do you guys even need to stop? Because there's one point here that I do want to bring up specifically about the new jobs and their quests. Um, mm -hmm. But they go into a lot more detail on this later. You guys want to wait till then as we're just kind of going through the stuff that they kind of gave us general details about? Because otherwise we're going to be talking about the same thing twice. You guys have had anything you got to get out of, out of the way yeah. now before we slice? You got something right now you got to get out oh, of the no, way? Oh, no, no. I was saying we can wait. We can wait? What about yeah, you, Miss? Yeah, we can wait. All right. Let's wait then. New areas is something, even though it's kind of broad, that we should probably stop and talk about, though. <laughs> because some people were kind of concerned when the trailer came out with a tour of the north one that we only saw like six, seven areas maybe. <laughs> And uh, we kind of learned why. So we learned there's nine new areas, which includes Ishgard and the Floating Continent. And we learned that each of those areas is anywhere from 1.5 to double the size of the existing zones. Double. Now, I don't know if they're talking Corthus double or if they're talking, like, I don't know, North Shroud double. But double is a lot of space to take up even when you can fly. What do you guys think about the size? Miz, let's start with you. 
The only thing that would concern me, because I actually like big areas, big zones, especially when you have flying mounts. I feel like everything is so much smaller when you're with a flying mount. Uh, but what worries me is like when they say double, do they mean like the ground surface area or are they just talking about it being more vertical? You know, like that's, I don't know. I'm sure it's obviously not as pessimistic as I'm thinking, but I don't know. I feel like two times larger than what we see now might be good. Might be good. I don't know. Unless it's all empty, in which case, I don't know. I don't, pull, know. Pull, uh, I don't think they want to pull a 1.0 on us. No one wants them to pull a 1.0 on us. Sly, big zones, yay or nay? I have to say yay, and I kind of agree with Miz. That, like, I don't know if they're going. You're talking about the verticality of it, and like in terms of verticality, I don't think we'll be able to um, be attacked while we're in air. Um, so, like, just the just a lot of empty space between areas, like getting from point A to point B. It's a lot of empty space. Hopefully, it's not a lot of that. Hopefully, it, we're talking about places we can actually walk and kind of. Smell the roses, you know, like sort of like eastern, no, southern Thanlin. So, like, because southern Thanlin's like a huge empty space of desert, it's just there. Like, I just don't want a lot of empty space. That's what I don't want. Empty space. So, yay to big space, but nay to empty space. Well, nay you're to gonna have plenty of things to fill that empty space. New fates, yay! <laughs> Woo! And some of those are large scale too, like Odin and Behemoth, which we've wondered why there was never another Odin or Behemoth ever again after those came out. Other than the fact that they were pretty much useless other than vanity rewards, people like those things. Even if they don't need it, it just gives us like the server an epic feel when that thing's once like go. People like right them. Before but, it crashes. Yeah, yeah, right before the server qu crashes. But people like them, but they just don't Okay, do any of y'all do um Odin or Behemoth? anymore ah uh, right now no obviously exactly i because... feel like when they were new tons mm -hmm. and tons of people did them but once like you know that wears off it's just like a dead zone odin's uh, walking around by himself it's pretty bad <laughs> yeah yeah i kind of agree it's like once you do it you do it just to say you did it and just to say hey i've done it that's it i really hadn't didn't try to farm behemoth for horns or anything or get anything from odin it's just it's just I wanted to do it just to do it and get it out the way. Now, uh, the culprit for a lot of people stopping from stopping doing those entirely, uh, the hunts. There will be more of those as well. Hunting on these vertical planes of existence. <sighs> Man, early pulling never seems so probable. <laughs> <laughs> I, are you guys... Are, I'm, are you guys looking forward to hunts at all? Other than the fact that it's probably going to be the best way to gear again when they finally make their presence known? I don't know. I have like sort of a love-hate relationship with hunts where when you're in those link shells where you have like, you know, hundreds of people looking for one hunt and you have like top of the line info, those are usually really, really fun. But I've also been on the opposite, like, you know, when it's like in shout chat and already 800 people have already pulled and you get there and it's dead. You get like two seals. That that sucks. But honestly, I don't know. I kind of wish they did hunts a bit more interactive, if that made sense. So kind of like the way that you unlock the S ranks, but apply that to the actual hunt itself. I don't know. Who knows? An I have all these boss. ideas. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Instead of just, oh, uh, you know, mash your keyboard and hope that you're not an AOE because you can't see anything anyway because there's just so many people there. I don't know. They, they're just so face rolly to me. That, that's why. Like Odin. Why am I dead? <laughs> Yes. I don't understand. I had I got these debuffs and then I was dead. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, just hunt. <laughs> it 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 makes me wonder if the hunt the hunt seals are gonna carry over at all. If they're gonna be brand new hunt seals when we go up north, but that's a topic for a whole nother time. New leaf quests, fantastic for cra crafters and gatherers, where everyone will probably I can't be wait. using them. It'll be yeah. so much fun. <laughs> I can't wait to type slash beckon. Oh my gosh, those are oh the worst. God. And the areas are <laughs> twice the size, so we're going to have to go twice the distance. But we won't get twice the EXP. No, we won't. So we nope. don't need to talk about that, because you both are obviously so thrilled that it's, oh, yeah. not, even, it's not even worth talking about. <laughs> Yay! 
But a big thing to talk about, as silly as it sounds, is new mounts. Because flying mounts are coming to the game. Again, something we already knew. That's right. And it was pretty funny watching them try to make an entire section out of the flying mount. They're like, so to take off, you hold jump. <laughs> <laughs> to Welcome land, to you just touch ago. the ground. <laughs> There's three axes that you can travel upon. I don't... But there were some interesting things. Like, people have been kind of wondering about unlocking flying and how fast the flying mounts are going to be. Um, so, in their internal testing, their ground speed versus their flying speed is very different. So, on the ground, based on their internal number, they say their ground speed is 0.9. Don't know what that's in reference to, because they didn't say compared to current mounts. They just said they're internal testing. And 200% maximum is for flying. And they might even increase it more. What do you guys even think? Like, is that 90% like other like normal ground mount speed? Is that just like a new modifier they're using just for the, the development for this? I, I have no idea. That's a really weird way to say it. Because point 0.9, it makes it sound like it's slower than what we have now. Is that what they're trying to say? Or is it just the flying mount itself is not suited for the ground? I don't know. Maybe there's a bit of RP in there. I honestly don't know. That's, that's weird. Unless it's like plus 90%, like in WoW, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, that was just the weird thing. that They just, they didn't just say it's 90% it's of your run speed. They literally just said, with our internal testing, it's 0.9. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I don't... Great, fantastic. Sai, you want to fly fast? You want to go fast like Sonic? <laughs> I'm not sure if I do. Like, and the, and the reason is, the whole reason is, going back to the scale of everything, the size of the new areas, um, is are the, the speeds of the flying mounts going to minimize, kind of minimize the size of the new areas? Like, we can get to point A to B faster, like, on a flying mount, like, 200% speed. And is that going to, like, make it seem shorter, make it seem like a shorter distance, make it seem like it's not that big at all? I don't know. That's what I'm, that's what I'm worried about. Let's ask Yoshi P. We'll just ask him. We'll just call him up real quick. I mean, <laughs> the big thing, though, is that you will get to experience these zones, at least to some degree, without flying. Uh, I don't know how that works for the, fly, for the flying, like, zones, like Sea of Clouds. But you have to attune to every single zone before you can fly. It's not like you learn flying and you're done. You need to actually do some sort of attunement thing. I don't want to say quest, which could be anything. We don't know if that's get the etherite. We don't know if it's a quest. We don't know if it's discover the entire zone. I don't know, but you have to attune to every zone. Uh, what? Any any thoughts? What, what do you guys think the attunement process will be? You think it's simple? You'll do it in five minutes? Or is it going to force you to experience the entire zone kind of without that power? And then you'll obtain the power. I would say probably, like, I'm just thinking of it as, like, a mini city with all the little etheric crystals everywhere that you have to, like, run to and find. And then once you have all of them, it unlocks, like, the gates, I guess. So, uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying to, at first I thought it would be, like, a, okay, as you progress uh, through every zone or whatever and you reach level 60 or whatever and you finally unlock flying... Uh, maybe it's something like that, like they're just trying to limit when you can start to fly. Or maybe they're limiting it by the quests that you do. So like say you finish all the quests in the one zone, then you unlock flying for just that zone. I don't know. I don't think that would really make sense, but I don't know. It's it's weird that that's how it is. Like you have to attune to every zone before you can fly. I think it's a good excuse to get you to explore the world. Like, it, yeah. like say, say excuse, reason. There you go, Mike. Um, it's a good re thank you. It's a good reason to get you to explore the world, like see everything it has to offer, know where to go, so you won't be lost before you can actually fly from wherever you want to go. So it's a, it's a, I think it's a good um, tactic. If they do it that way. If they do it that way. That's that's this is a lot of these things. Some I've seen it in the chat. This is a little an I don't know night because. The, Square Enix has this way of giving us just enough to make us go, whoa, that's awesome! What does it mean? I, I don't know. <laughs> but I think they like that. Yeah. They like the mystery. They love the mystery. I mean, we don't get patched. We probably won't get patch notes until the day before early access, so... These are all mysteries for now. 
But we have to move on from the flying mounts. I, I think we've already covered in the past, there's like six new flying mounts being planned. Uh, one big thing, though, is... I don't know why that noise. I just had a Skype noise play. I thought I was on... Uh, I thought I was on um, D&D. Apparently not. Um, so on top of covering like all the basic controls, they answered a few basic questions like, Company Chocobos. You will be able to fly with them. Which is good, because a lot of people were wondering if we'd be able to level with them, 50 to 60. I mean, don't you dare try to queue for a dungeon still, but at least you can, you can still level with them. Do you guys actually use your company? What level are your company Chocobos? Come on. I'm a slacker. Mine's like, I actually just hit level 9, because I've been doing all those relic things. So, pretty, pretty low. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a long time. It's like, come on, you race Chocobos, why don't you fight with them? I, I forget. forgetting. Yeah. Like, okay, I, now I have a reason to use it again because I'm leveling my bard. So now I have a reason to break out Bandit and have him fight stuff. So, yeah, he's just a rank 5. Rank 5? It's all right, Sly. There's challenge logs. Wait, wait, what's yours? What's yours? Uh, Max level. No, it's not 20. I know a few people with 20. <laughs> it's, I think it's 10, but it's, like, on the cusp of 11 because I don't think I fathom into it. But... I mean, yeah, there's not much to really do with them, but I mean, now you'll have stuff to do with them, so... But I mean, they take your EXP. Are you, are you going to even think of using them when you're going through the story and you're doing all these things? Do you, are you actually think you're going to use it? <laughs> That's enough. I'm, I'm still <laughs> leveling something? Yeah, probably, yeah. But do you remember all the troubles? What if you have to go into one of those personalized instances... And it's constant. Like, constantly have to go into those personalized instances at some it's point. It's not going to be that constant. It's not going to be that constant. I mean, it's easy for me to just withdraw it. Like, but still, yeah. I think there are sometimes my Chocobo is stupid. It does stupid things. Sometimes. 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 A, lot, a lot of times. <laughs> as of recent. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm a healer, Chocobo, but let me stand right next to you so I can get hit by this AoE also. Sounds like a great plan. No, it's, just, it's those ones where you had to pacify and... <sighs> Bandit, come back. Like, leave him alone. He's pacified. Don't bandit. He's like, asleep. <laughs> he just <laughs> like, keeps hitting. And no, no, no. And I'll go on another, like, I'll be on a totally different beast, and he'll just run off to that one. Like, just leave me alone. I'm like, what the hell did you do? Like, we're right here. Yeah, it just, bandit pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. Rant. <laughs> Rant. Do you have some issues you want to work out? Yes, I had to. Do you want to talk had about to get it? How to get off my chest? You, you and Bandit need therapy. Yeah, Bandit needs therapy. Why just just him? Because he's <laughs> Bandit needs therapy. No, it's not me. Like, but you, but, it, but you're a team. You can't listen. <laughs> you he sound like listen. you sound like. I feel like I'm watching an episode where like everybody loves worse. Raymond and you're Deborah. He's worse than Tartarus Carbuncle that ran off. Oh wow, that's that. He's worse. That's pretty bad. That's, yeah, as bad as it gets, I think. <laughs> it means he's non-existent. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so last little bit of information about the flying mounts. No enemies in the sky, so I guess maybe we don't have to worry about being heavied as much. Oh, that would be terrible. <laughs> Getting heavied <laughs> in the sky. Ugh. Like, what if they automatically just knock you off? Yeah, no heavy, we'll just knock you off the mountains. <laughs> yeah, just die. Yeah, fall to your death. Because <laughs> technically you're in combat, right? So the, the It'll kill distance you. that you fall will be enough to kill you. It'll absolutely kill you. And the last thing is, they're talking about bringing some of the 2.x mounts over as flying mounts. Not at launch, but eventually, like the bomb chair mount and the Aramon mount. I don't think the Aramon has wings strong enough to fly with us, I, but I sure, I guess. I mean, the swag chair is, is, is pretty awesome. You guys better have swag chairs. I want to see you guys on swag chairs. <laughs> I have an Aramon, but I don't have a swag chair. Oh, Miz, do you have a swag chair? So I started oh. working on that, and then I <laughs> was like, I hate dailies, and then I stopped. So I'm like halfway through the rep for that, but maybe I should do that before. You're absolutely not going to do that. You're No way you're going to do that, Miz. You said if you don't like them, you're not going to do them. Don't even sit here and try to play well, it off. Well, I did it for like, uh, the Sylphs and the other one. What's the and that's one? how you learned that you didn't like it, because you just... It was just so you awful. You did the Sylphs, like, which, What's Ugh. wrong with you? <laughs> well, that's the problem because, like, once you do the silps, you're like, I just never want to do this ever again, and it's just really bad. Just dailies are, are terrible. Yeah, I can understand a lot more now. Ugh. But I am very grateful that this game does not force me to do dailies. Like, that's uh, that's awesome. <laughs> so get, hopefully, like, in the dungeon expansion. grade gear to get started. Yeah, at level 50. yeah. It would drive me insane. All right. 
So now that we're done talking about flying mounts, because we've already learned a few interesting things about Sly along the way here and his <laughs> problems, um, the battle system updates. Uh, they actually had a little thing under the topics for this last live letter. It said they're going to be doing a, a, a thing explicitly on the battle systems during the live letter next month. We didn't get a day, but sometime in May there will be a live letter that goes a little bit more in-depth into this. But we got the answers that we've pretty much all been looking for here. They showed off a few screenshots of some new abilities, but they're, there's nothing to really draw from them. But they did finally say that the new jobs, Dark Knight Machinist and Astrologian, will start at level 30. Surprised? Expected? Biz? Kind of expected. It's I know like they, are, they don't have like class requirements, I guess, but it kind of makes sense to start at level 30. That way you don't really have to level up from the very beginning, and you get a bit of a boost for the expansion, which is kind of cool. The only thing that really worries me is that if at level 30 you're just, like, bombarded with, like, eight skills that a lot of people really won't know how to use until they start practicing. But, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the big thing is that these jobs, like, you have to probably get a class to 30 and finish a class quest, whatever. It doesn't matter which one, probably. But they're not just going to let you make a brand new character and be like, hey, you want to be a Dark Knight? Cool. Yeah. Regardless it, of this, it's full set of abilities at 30. They're not going to give you two abilities and be like, good luck out in the open world. It's going to be as if you had just leveled a brand new class to 30 all at once. Yeah, I feel like there might be some trouble with that. Unless they make it really simple. Which they might. Who knows? Did we? Are we going to talk about how to unlock these? I don't want to skip ahead. If we don't know, I think they mentioned it, didn't they? Maybe they've mentioned briefly. You won't just be able to start on a brand new character, which right? Is, like you have to do some stuff at uh, from 3.0. Yeah, like you're gonna have to. Uh, more specifically, just kind of everyone's kind of ideas that you'll have to have like. So you'll have to have to the class to level 30 first, like as if you were going to unlock your first job anyway. So it should be like any class is what we're saying, like it can be any class. or it just... We don't, see that's, that's the thing. They've only pretty much stated that like, it's not like, we don't know that it's main class, subclass, all that stuff. It seems like they don't care about the classes anymore, like they, they don't care. So I can't imagine they want to restrict you, especially if it's completely uninhibited by, you know, cross-class skills or all these new abilities. It's just like, it's not like there's a base class. It throws everything off so much. Damn it, might as well. If you can find something on that, Miz, I couldn't, I don't see anything. I honestly, so, like, my source, and I say this with quotation marks, um, is mostly just reading comments on Reddit. There was someone saying that the Yoshi P had said that to unlock, uh, I'm not sure if it was the races or the actual classes themselves, you had to do a couple things uh, in the 3.0 quest line, like in Ishgard at some point. Yes. And then once you did that, you would have access to those classes. So it could be something as restrictive as that, like you have to start on whatever ca character uh, you're playing first and then do whatever, how many quests or whatever, and then uh, finally start. At, back at level 30? I don't really know how that works because I can't imagine going back and forth from like expansion content to like quarry mill <laughs> or you know I don't know it just makes no sense to me. Do you have a gripe against quarry mill specifically? Is this because uh, of uh, is this because of uh, any sort of specific reason that you might have a hatred against quarry mill? No I think it just uh, I hate leveling <laughs> so quarry mill it's like that one spot where you're stuck there for like eight levels doing fates over and over and over and over and it's awful but I don't know so get through levs <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. but we're just gonna have whole high level process. ones they're gonna be high level though Miz well not the dark knight ones they got quarry mill but anyway <laughs> oh really <laughs> so on top of the new jobs being level 30, we found out that the new main story quest will indeed start after level 50. I don't know why that's a surprise when you need to finish 2.55 to get to the new main story quest. So with this in mind, the question is now, I'll ask Ms. first, are you going to go straight to Dark Knight when it comes out? Since you're a tank, I'm imagining you're going to Dark Knight <laughs> because you're a tank because you called the Derp Lander a traitor before. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I'm going to level up Paladin all the way to 61st, and then Dark Knight right after. So I plan on keeping Paladin as like my main right now, 
And uh, I have a feeling, though, like the other tanking or group is also going to want to do Dark Knight probably full time, maybe. So I'm obviously going to have all three because I I'm one of those people that just will play whatever tank is necessary. But uh, I think I will start with Paladin and then do Dark Knight afterwards. What about you, Sly? Is the, is is it Dragoon to sixty? Has, has that changed yet? Now that we know for sure, or are you looking at that Machinist or that Astrologian or that Dark Knight? Dragoon to sixty, and then Dark Knight sprinkled with a little bit of Bard or whatever the hell else I have leveled. Bard. Yeah, I'm leveling Bard now. Yeah, but why are you gonna go back and do that in the expansion, man? Don't don't get yourself caught up in that. Don't don't. Do that. I mean, by that time it should be fifty. So anyway, like yeah. Save yourself. As soon as they see you on Bard, they'll never let you leave. They'll never <laughs> let you play Dragoon again. <laughs> it's true, because they'll want to play Dragoon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everyone's changed to Dragoon. I mean, you said it yourself, man. It's going to happen. Well, it's going to happen. It, it's kind of like what happened it's with Ninja. It's already happening. Yeah. It's kind of like what happened with Ninja. You just saw a whole bunch of ninjas. You were included in that. I am still a ninja. Yeah. And you know why I was ninja? To get away from Bard, and that's what started this stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to, I'm doing this for you, Sly. I'm saving you from the fates that so many Bards before you <laughs> have fallen into. Okay. So, speaking of levels, again, this isn't a surprise to anyone who didn't play Final Fantasy XI, but there's no quest to get to level 51. You just, hey... I could get 51 now. My expansion's turned on. That they literally just did that just for Final Fantasy 11 players. You like Genkai, Genkai Quest, <laughs> level cap unlock. So don't worry about that. I don't. I mean, yeah, we don't need to do that. But something else about quests: there are going to be quests for the new jobs or new job quests for everything, and that's the only way to get abilities in the expansion. There's no more class abilities post 50. It's all job abilities. So why do we still have classes in the game again? I'm trying to think of it right now. I mean, what do you think that means? Like, how many new abilities? How often are these quests? Like, what does it mean that all quests from this point on? Well, if it's like how it is now, isn't it every five levels you get a new ability? Which yep. would mean a whole two new abilities in the expansion. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm so excited still. Oh, yes. I can press more than one, two, three on my paladin. <laughs> Just kidding. No, she's not. <laughs> See? Everybody yells at me for that. She said it now. You have it on record. No, but it's a joke because it's not entirely true. I know. You got cool down. <laughs> entirely. And, flash, and you got the, the shield bash. Shield bash. And <laughs> swipe. We'll do shield swipe because you actually use that one more often. But anyway, it's DPS increase. Um, maybe it's <laughs> – uh, maybe they'll, like, actually switch it around so it's maybe every other – like four levels or so or two levels i don't know i like it's it seems so not fun to only expect two new class or two new buttons per class you know i kind of want a bit more but we'll see maybe they'll find a, a way to do it differently and still give us like the random abilities so with that question out of the way for miss sly i want to turn the question a little bit more on to you so you play on a controller, is that right, Sly? That is right. How do you feel about having two new abilities to put on your cross hotbar versus having five new abilities to find a place to press? I mean, regardless of whether or not you're a keyboard or a controller player, our hotbars are pretty full for the most part at this point already. It's, it's Sometimes it's hard to imagine five abilities, but it's underwhelming to imagine two. Like, is there any sort of sweet in-between for you, Sly? Um, no... There really can't be at this point. I mean, I'm comfortable, you know, switching. Like, I can switch hot bars easily on my controller. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as people make it out to be. There are some, there are some classes slash jobs where, yes, it might be advantageous to have a keyboard. But, I'm like, with Goon, I'm comfortable. Like, I've learned it. I'm comfortable switching, if I have to, to the second hot bar, hot bar and then switching back. Like, it's just become second nature to me. But in terms of getting new um, abilities like this, maybe they're they're going to be paced out to where it will not really necessarily equate to level, but um, kind of paced out in terms of how you're progressing in Heaven's Ward in the particular quest. It might be every ten quests instead of every le every five levels. So we don't 
Like, they, have they given a number for the amount of abilities we're going to get? Or they just no. said... No. Okay, so... Why would they give us any details more than what we've been given? They never do. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they ever so, actually answer our question? That's yeah, how so they I, leave us wanting more. Yep. They treat us like addicts. They're just like, oh, you want it? You want it? No, you can only have a little bit. Oh, I hate them. Anyway. <laughs> no, you don't. I hate them, but Lies. I also love I hate, them. Yeah, but, that, no, but that's the thing. It's like, I hate that I love it, but I love that I hate it. <laughs> it's a love hate. Or, what? Something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, new limit breaks, new equipment. We've spoken about the new limit breaks a million times. They've spoken about it a million times. New equipment. <laughs> they, they had a full section. There's going to be new equipment. That's not, that's not artifact armor. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just gets one set of armor. They're just being thorough, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's fair. I can imagine people would ask, there's new artifact armor, but what about anything else? anything nothing else nothing new more of a bigger question is what's going to happen to our current tombstone gear because there are going to be new tombstones they confirmed it will be elegant tombstones of law and elegant tombstones of esoterics whatever that means forgot to google it um what <laughs> as all we said, this, we said the same thing um poetics didn't we? Yeah, because the We're names like, are so what? stupid. What? <laughs> what the, the names Hold on, so I'm Googling it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's our fault that the names are so stupid. But do you, um, and someone actually posed this question to me last night. Do you kind of think they're going to phase the armor, um, the current 2.0 armor into it to where, like, you know how, I don't know, does Ninja have an Astrum armor? Uh, Ninja Astrum? That's yes. soldiery? Yeah. Well, no, that's okay. Gloam. They got Gloam. They have Gloam. Okay. Gloam. Monk. Monk stuff. Astrum is Dragoon stuff. Yeah, I keep... But, yeah, um, maybe it'll be phased in like that. Okay. So, what's the verdict, Miss? What's it say on Google? Oh, uh, I actually just closed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, this is dumb. Uh, one second, I'll pull it up again. So is the name, so we might as well we might as well go full circle <laughs> I think with it. They just enjoy having like weird sort of hipster names. That's what I call them. <laughs> They're hipster. hipster names. Yeah, because I don't know. Okay, so it says um, understood by. This is for esoteric. This is what esoteric means. Understood by or meant for only the select few who have special knowledge or interest. So I guess it's like. Hipsters. So everyone who plays Final Fantasy XIV, since everyone will be able to get Esoteric. <laughs> Pretty much, mm -hmm. but I, I guess I, I makes you special somehow, I guess. Maybe. Well, the tombstones themselves may have been special all those times ago. And, yeah. Uh, so the current gear we have now, though, is that going to be in, like, level 52 dungeons and stuff? Because we already know that level 51 won't have gear above item level 130. So would it be fair to assume that maybe the first dungeon or two might integrate the current Poetics gear and just gone as soon as the expansion starts same with you know what i predict gear. what i predict that our uh, our eye level 135 gear is going to be re replaced by the very first quest they said it wouldn't though it, it's not gonna be that bad i don't think it's gonna be that bad <laughs> i'm a pessimist though so we'll see it's all right i we i don't blame you that's what i would have thought if they hadn't explicitly said 130 gear will not be replaced. They only said at level 51. They never said anything after that. Anything past? Then you know it's going to happen at level 52. First quest. I'm calling it now. <laughs> I think it might happen at level 60, if anything. If it takes me to level 52 to get to the first quest, I'm going to be a little bit more worried about something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so tombstones. By the way, for anyone wondering, elegant tombstones a law, no weekly limit. Elegant Tombstones of Esoterics, weekly limit. Probably 450, probably 2000 for the overall cap. Nothing groundbreaking, you know? Natural form of progression, some minor tweaks, and uh, time to get into some more, I guess, interesting stuff. I don't think any of us are, like, big crafters here or gatherers. Mag no. gatherer. No. Nah, gather. Is that what the is that what the mustache I'm is really for? good at uh, gathering all the supplies I need from the market board. Same. What would we call that? If that had to be a class, what would that be called? Shopper? <laughs> I have no idea. There we go. E economist. Econ Economist. That Economist level so much 50. 
<laughs> okay, so we have a whole, there was a whole bunch of stuff with the Disciples of Hand or Land, and it's times like this where we wish we had Mithri around to help us explain how important it actually is. Quick shout out, I'm going to mention again at the end, Mithri will be on next week's show, if I'm not mistaken, uh, talking about these things a little bit more in depth. So just want to throw that out there while we're on the topic of crafting and gathering. So, Disciples of Hand, Disciples of Land, they're getting new abilities, they're getting new recipes, new gathering nodes, there's going to be fun little things for you to do, I'm sure we're going to all love going out there and spanning leaves to level so you don't actually have to put any effort into it. Um, the one thing that's interesting though is, we've mentioned the specialist tier before, uh, we mentioned it in previous weeks, they've kind of explained what the point of the specialist tier is. And it's almost in a sense to eliminate the Omni crafting in a different way. The way it's worked up till now is to be effective at any crafter, you had to level every crafter. It wasn't like, oh, I just want to level this one and that's what I'll do. No, you can't do that because you won't be able to craft anything. The specialist here is meant to eliminate that need to level everything. It lets you become a specialist and make you capable of finishing these higher tier recipes. Does that, does that it motivate you guys at all, though, to actually level it? the mustache? I can't. Let's pretend for just a moment that I actually am into crafting. Uh, I can't even, like, put myself you into that mindset. You don't need to level all of them. That's just the thing. I just want to put that... I mean, I guess it's okay from someone completely on the outside who has absolutely no idea what she's talking about, but that seems okay. I don't know. It gives me a reason. Yeah, it but... seems not as scary. And I think what the overall um, move was for this was to get more newer players, like more, make it more accessible, make crafting more accessible to everyone. Because not everybody's like a hardcore crafter, like you said. And not everybody's going to go and get all their crafters to um, 50, now 60. Um, so, it's not as intimidating now. Yeah it's, yeah, it's not as intimidating. And everybody will, like, not everybody, but most people will maybe pick up a crafter here or there just to kind of get the specialists here. So I think it makes it more accessible. It also players. apparently helps with the leveling process. Because you can do it at 55, become a specialist. It's not required, but you can do it at 55. However, it requires a new currency called scripts. Guys, there's no T. Script is a real thing. It is an actual... I forget what it is. Forgot to Google it. But um, I've had it explained it. to me. Yeah. Ms. Ms. Yes. Miz the respon Miz is the responsible one here, guys. I, I think this, I've heard it like fifty times. I just don't remember what it is right now. Do you want me to tell you? I do want I have to it tell up. me. So a <laughs> script is a term for any substitute for legal tender. It's often a form of credit. Uh -huh. So I guess it makes sense. So we've got to farm credit, guys. Make yep. sure your credit score is good. <laughs> and uh, so on top of granting these new abilities, there's also gonna be um, Ways to level up kind of through the specialization tier because um, scripts are part of another system that we're going to talk about right now. Um, it's actually something that you may want to look into because right now it's kind of just leaves and that's it. We've been making that joke the whole night. But on top of having a level cap raise, you know, having new treasure maps, like all that new stuff that you kind of have grown to expect. They're also implementing the favor system for Disciples of Land, the regional folklore system for Disciples of Land, and the scripts currency system overall. So we need to go through each of these as probably as broadly as possible since none of us are crafters or gatherers. But the favor system is a system that allows you to uh, get a buff, and that buff lets you gather certain materials, and you go out into the world, and you make use of that buff, and then the buff wears off, and it's gone. And it, you need to use scripts in order to enable these divine favors, in order to get these certain things. I don't guess I understand how this is supposed to just be useful. I don't, like, you get a buff and you go gather something. I don't get it. Can you guys make me get it? And now, is it in regards to the higher tier stuff? Like, higher quality? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, without that buff... You don't have a chance at getting whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, other than make putting that middle ground of the buff, what is this actually supposed to achieve? Like, so now I have to get a buff to go get these materials. Great. What do I care? What do I care? It's like, why is that middle step even <laughs> necessary? I don't think it's a middle step. I mean, yeah, we say it's for higher um, quality items, but normally now, normally the higher quality 
quality items you get at maybe 50, like you may have a greater chance of getting them, greater chance of getting more of them with um, the favor system rather than, you know, by yourself using your own abilities. I think we should just, uh, you know, we can <laughs> pretend it's like a, a thing that's way beyond us, us plebes, because we don't know how to do crafting. And we'll but we, but we, like but we have gatherers <laughs> level. I mean, <laughs> uh, fishing, maybe. It, it's just, enough? it seems like, and I see it mentioned in the chat, it seems like they're just taking the step where you uh, uh, turn on a yield and just turning mm -hmm. it into a buff. It, it's, it doesn't. Like, so you can't see the node without the favor system. I couldn't see the node without my yield. Like, I just, it seems like an unnecessary step to get us to do things. The only thing I've seen at all in the chat is maybe you don't need to wait till a certain Aorzean time to enable the node. Could, just, they could have done, I, I feel like this favor system is just. You feel like it's Maybe extra. there's more to it. Maybe we don't I hope know everything. We don't know. This is the I don't know episode. Yes, the Ms. The I don't know I don't anything. Know. <laughs> the Ms. Tackler Mike... mustache episode. <laughs> So, Mike, are you saying you feel like it's uh, just extra, something that's thrown in? It's just a cog. In the, it's just a cog. That's all it is. It's just I have to get through it to get to these things. But how is it's just it's like another way of doing what's already there. And I feel like it's just they're, they're just using it to disguise like, hey, you're doing the same thing. It's just now you have this divine favor system. More questions <laughs> and, and answers. You know what the thing is? I have a little Skype box open with... <laughs> And it changes to whoever's mic is like making the most noise. And whenever it changes to misses, it's just her looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> making a miss face. I'll try to make it look as creepy as possible next time. Oh, great. And the thing is, Thank it's going to look creepy to everyone watching the whole time. And then for me, it's like a surprise. Ah, get scary. those gifts like ready, boom. folks. <laughs> get those gifts ready. <laughs> get those gifts ready. Please don't. <laughs> so the other system they spoke about was the regional folklore system. Um... So it's apparently supposed to be the only detail we kind of got is it's like the master crafting book equivalent, which I guess I can almost understand a little bit better than the. I mean, it is just another step. I mean, that's what the master crafting book uh, thing was, but it almost feels like it has to me more of a value. Like you've actually achieved something and unlocked something. You've earned the right to do something more. Um, and it's apparently going to have to do with lore because it's regional, it's folklore. You're going to have to learn things if you don't if you don't skip cutscenes. I'm assuming. Uh, <laughs> is, you can't. It's just every time she, she pops up. <laughs> I can't I'm do gonna it. Take it off. See, no, 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 no. Leave what did it I tell on, you at the beginning great. of the show, Mike? I'm sorry. Like <laughs> you told me there would be puns. Well, I kind of pun underestimated myself. <laughs> See, you have a mustache. I have the mustache there to the distract mustache. the fact that it's I didn't mustache. bring puns. It's a mustache. Mustache, exactly. Yeah, there we go. See, now There's we got some pun. puns. Mustachio. Pun See, this is why I was cracking up earlier, folks. This is why I was just cracking up during the beginning. Was this? The thing is, he could only see it. It switches for me between them both. <laughs> <laughs> see, now you understand. It's like one time she's gonna be like this, and you guys can't see. But I'm okay. Well, now it's awkward because you guys can't see me. Anyway. Um, I was making a really weird thing where I threw my hands up in the air and I was smiling at the camera. You'll see, you'll see it later. You'll see it later. Don't worry. Um, anyway, uh, another new system that's coming to both of them is the collectibles system, which is leading us into the scripts conversation, where you'll have to procure rare items for Ro Rowena, and you can use it to get experience points and scripts, and apparently the items will be of a higher quality. And now she's doing the face, by the way. That's exactly <laughs> what I was, I was trying to hold it in. I was trying to hold it, finally, like, it finally I switched. I was trying to hold it in. <laughs> it finally switched, and oh, all I God. saw was that. Because I just saw Sly smile, and I'm like, uh-oh. Oh, just God. keep it cool. It took a while. Yeah, I got it. it finally switched. Mm. Oh, my God. Anyway... Oh. Collectibles, higher quality than your standard HQ items. You give them to Rowena, you get experience points and scripts. Thrilling. Fun. Yeah, we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite part of the entire live letter right here. The currency, the script system itself? Mm hmm Just the whole thing. It's fascinating. I detect a level of sarcasm in that voice. <laughs> really? The sarcasm is strong with this one. <laughs> the sarcasm is strong with this one. So, it's... crafters and gatherers, you wanted to be treated a lot more like battle classes. You got it. 
<laughs> you guys are getting your own currencies, both non-capped and capped weekly. That is the script system that we've been talking about this whole time. So for gatherers and crafters, you have red scripts. You have red script and red gatherer script. That's the difference in name. That's the no weekly limit. The one with a weekly limit is blue scripts and blue gatherer scripts. Don't know why I put emphasis on blue and I should have put emphasis on gatherers. It's basically there to give you a long-term choice. And I think that us as non-crafters can sort of appreciate one of the... I, I think it's fair to say all three of us kind of have no interest in going through that hell of a melding process in order to do it, even if we were to level them. Is that fair to say? Agreed. Miss? Sure. She, no, she just doesn't... It's, it's deeper. She just doesn't care at all. It has nothing to do with the, with the materia melding at all. She just hates it. That's what the mustache is on for. I really do. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I can't even explain it. I just... I can't. I don't, I don't enjoy it. You should get a care cup and just never put anything in it. <laughs> <laughs> just every time someone asks about crafting, just this is my care cup. It's empty. Just cut the hole out of the bottom. Um, <laughs> apparently, the whole point of this system is, to explain it for everyone watching, is that it's the alternative to melding. If you want to take your time, gather up materials, buy yourself some new gear, maybe some, I don't know, maybe some new materials with these scripts then you can eventually gear up your gatherer or your crafter to the point where it's adequate. It takes a lot longer than just going the straights, drop tens of millions of gil on a new set of armor with all the melds, but it gives you the power to play crafters a little bit more casually. And I think that was kind of the point of all of these systems in place, to add a little bit more depth to it, or at least attempt to, with disguising it. <laughs> they put a mustache on the uh, on, as a disguise. That's I can't. <laughs> They put a mustache over over the crafting, like, aha, it's better now. And, uh, yeah, it's the same. But they're trying. I mean, can it's we be happy the that they're trying? A little yeah. bit? Yeah. I can appreciate <laughs> their effort. Appreciate. That's a bit strong of a word for you when it comes to this topic, Miz. <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, believe that you actually appreciate I'm feeling this. very generous tonight, so I, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Ex acceptable. Acceptable. <laughs> so dungeons raids and primals yes now Here now she, now she's interested now i can like wax off my oh <laughs> it's funny because we can hear it like the yeah. rip <laughs> it just sounds so painful now i'm excited okay yeah and i'm i'm right there with i think this is the point where we all are like oh, crafting now we're like oh, stuff other stuff yes yes so let's talk about uh first all right first up cover our bases Eight new dungeons. About as many as you expected? Less? More? Not as many. Like, I kind of expected more. I mean, if this is going to be larger, if this is going to be larger content than A Realm Reborn, I expected a little bit more. I mean, in terms of how many dungeons we have, like, pre-50 dungeons we have for uh, 2.4. Oh, uh, I was expecting more, but we're going to get a lot of it in patches. Did you have to do that right now, Miss? <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> this just for those of you watching on YouTube. Miz just went ahead and put the you know Twitch now when you resub to somebody, there's a big <laughs> button that pops up in the chat, and she just pressed it in the middle of the thing. Sorry, I got uh, excited. It was pretty funny. Yeah, that's how excited she is about the new stuff. So, what about you, Miz? More or less dungeons? It's sliding. I think I kind of interrupted him. No, no, you're fine. I, okay. I got all needed. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure just how much content I was expecting. But hearing eight, I'm kind of disappointed. I honestly thought it would be a little bit more. But that's probably just because I'm a spoiled brat and I want as much as possible. But eight, I think, might be okay. As long as it's like eight at 60. No, 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 no. You, <laughs> no. What the, how did you go no. from, it's not going to be this, it can't be that, they won't do this, to it'll be eight at 60. How did because you this even... is like the one thing I care about, right? So it's the reason I play the game. And because of that, it like makes me want stuff. But okay, all right. Have so you I guess seen our expert roulette? Roulette? How are you going to level then? Dungeons? How are you going to level from 50 to 60? Well, no, no. That's why I thought, I don't know what I was thinking. I was hoping for like <laughs> an extra five while you level and then at 60, yeah. Unrealistic. That, that I know. actually that actually sounds reasonable. Five like while you level two sixty and then five after. No, no, we do not want a repeat of two point where you just farm like AK over and over again. It's so like three instead of two. <laughs> I guess. 
What, what an improvement. <laughs> well, that's what we've been getting. Other than when the game first launched, we got three max level dungeons every time. And it was always yeah. roulette, 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 push everything back down, which I hope they don't do. Um, but they will. So, yeah, that's where I'm kind of leaning with eight. Like, eight's about what I expect, because only ten levels to fit a lot of dungeons and leveling up. Like, I can't imagine them. The game launched with 14 dungeons, including AK and Wanderer's Palace. That's 12 dungeons while leveling across... I guess 35 levels, because the first one, the first three are 15, 16, 17. Um, five leveling up, 52, 54, 56. Maybe they'll be four at 60. I'm not that optimistic, but yeah, eight dungeons is a little bit. I, I just, as long as they're cool, but they got good music, they're cool. It's just, I can't, yeah, I, like I'm expecting them to be pretty awesome no matter what level they are, but I don't know. I'm just worried that because they're giving us all this time to level, uh, we're gonna have like nothing to do at 60 except for like two dungeons and that I hope doesn't happen but we'll see but you never know well it's true. they'll give you a little bit more to do with uh, eight people though because uh, we got two difficulties of raids this time around and we've spoken about this before where we have Alexander normal and Alexander hard mode but it's not Alexander hard mode it's Alexander Savage they went the full 10 miles and gave it the same name as when they launched Second Coil as Savage, which was pretty savage. Pretty savage, yeah. It was pretty savage. It's still pretty savage if you go in there. With, oh, it is. Yeah, it's fun. You've had some, haven't you been streaming White Fests? We've been yeah. attempting to get Turn 9 Savage down and failing miserably. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I feel like it'll be interesting for sure because normal is obviously uh, kind of like the maybe a little bit easier than what it is now and then savage is going to be maybe a little bit harder than what it is now and I think that's a good that's a good like difficulty to be at so are it's you saying, exciting are you saying that they downgraded savage is that what you're saying no 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 I'm saying that the normal mode is probably just a little bit easier and then the savage oh Oh, I see what you're saying. You're talking about comparing this, like, Alexander Savage to current mm -hmm. Savage, right? Yes. Hmm. I don't know, honestly. It might be about the same. Maybe a little bit not as bad. But with actual gear. But with actual gear, exactly. So, like, the reward will be so much that it doesn't even matter how hard it is that we'll still do it, right? I don't know. We have to do it. We, we just, have to. We love the challenge. Fly, right? You're in? You're in? <laughs> I'm in. You want Savage? Sure. He's got it. Yo, by the way, you, you, I haven't, did you get to 12 yet? Have you been on 12? No, no, no. I haven't even done 11 yet. But you were like, so I mean, I've done 11, but I haven't gone back in. And oh. Me on T9. Stuff. Sly. Sly, come on. I know, I know it's E. I, it's, no, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say Sly. I just want you, I just want you, I just want you to do it. I want you to enjoy it. Because I know you, I know you enjoy it, Sly. Yeah, I do. Yeah. This is I'm see how I'm doing the reverse thing where you what you did to me like three weeks ago. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying anyway. So with Alexander Normal and Savage, they discussed a lot of loot changes for the way everything's gonna work. But when they discussed Alexander, they only discussed the way loot was gonna work in Alexander Normal. So as Miz said, it's gonna be easier than the current. They've said it's gonna be kind of like the current with Echo. I don't know if that means with the nerfs included with Echo. But um, then hopefully it's not turn seven. Anyway, um, it's going to be on a weekly loot lockout, like CT, instead of just go in, get as much loot as you want, and GG. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Weekly loot lockout instead of, like, I can get whatever, however much I want, but it has to drop. Like, I don't know. What about you guys? Are you talking about just for normal or for they, Savage they, as well? They explicitly only said normal. So we can almost assume that Savage is going to be the way it is now. Um, it, we'd have no confirmation of that, of course, but they specifically said normal would be on that weekly loot lockout, probably because of its difficulty being dropped from the standard, uh, the, the way standard coil has worked till now. Mm -hmm. hmm. And to be more clear... I've heard multiple different translations. The one I've heard the most often is it's if you get any loot on any of the turns, it's all, you're done. It's not really? I've that heard, sounds I've heard, I've heard awful. Different, I've heard different <laughs> yeah, that sources. sounds terrible. I've heard, two, I've heard different sources from multiple different places. It's mixed around 55-45. Around it's close. But there's a possibility that that is how it's going to turn out. I would be pretty disappointed if that's the thing. 
Yeah. Uh, cause it also makes no sense. Cause the way that you like zone into them, it's like a separate instance. Right. Yeah. So I feel like how would they exactly make it so that it's like a full instance loot lockout? I don't know. I really hope they don't do that though. Cause that's, that's kind of disheartening. Uh, you get your loot for the week and then you don't feel like progressing. Well, maybe some people, I would obviously probably want to keep going, but I feel like some people, the only reason that they're doing things is for the loot, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I would like that at all. That also kind of means it will have to be in the duty finder because you have to be unless they seriously like just there's like a, a lobby that you can enter any turn from in person, which I'm assuming they'll go back to. But yeah, I feel kind of the same way. I get it. Maybe they want to restrict the amount of loot you have going into Savage for the first two weeks. Makes a little bit of sense, but it doesn't make that because otherwise it's like, what if there's four Alexander turns? Everyone gets four pieces of gear. Whatever. Like, I don't know that they want people to do that, but this isn't the right answer if that is. If this is the actual translation. I don't think it's going to restrict a lot in the first two weeks. I mean, there's a lot of shit we have to do in the first two weeks before it... Alexander. Yeah, exactly. Like, we're... Okay, we're going to be the... We're probably going to be those hardcore players who want to get it 260 as quickly as possible. But there's a lot of stuff we can do in two weeks before Alexander hits. So, and I mean... Again, it's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. Um, yeah, I think I the reason I don't, like, talking about the loot lockout, like, if it was one per all of Alexander, uh, like, one loot, there's going to be a lot of wasted loot. And I know they're bringing in the token system to sort of help people get gear that doesn't drop or the RNG is just never in their favor. But I feel like the same thing happens with, like, CT and uh, WAD and all that stuff all the time. Like, if you're in there for a specific loot, you're obviously going to let a lot of loot, like, hit the ground. No one's going to pick up, pick it up. It's such a waste. And especially when it's something like a new instance like this, I feel like every piece of loot is going to be an upgrade for someone somewhere. And to restrict them from, like, not even being able to take it for, like, an alt uh, spec, it seems a little... Not, not fun. It would kind of piss me off if, if I had to waste loot constantly like that. Yeah, I think I feel the same way. I'm hoping, because like I said, the translations I've heard differ from different sources, and it's like 55-45 in the direction of all. I'm hoping it's a mistake. And I hope so too. There's a possibility that it is. But since you're talking about the token system, we also pretty much see we only have two new primals at this point. If they've got a third one up their sleeve, I don't know. Ravana and Bismarck, which they revealed back at the very first uh, uh, fan fest, actually the second one, the, the one in London. Mm -hmm. um, so they didn't use Savage here. They called them normal and hard, which is confusing because we haven't Definitely. gone this long without an extreme primal launch. Like, when, okay, so when A Realm Reborn first launched, yes, we only had story and hard. We got extremes in 2.1. But they've said that we were going to have hard and extreme at launch which leads us to believe they've renamed the story modes to not be hard mode anymore, which makes sense because, you know, Shiva hard mode isn't exactly the right term when there's no normal. It's, I think this might be it because this is actually in Japanese. It's easy, normal, hard, not normal, hard, extreme. So I think that's where we're going with this. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is like normal, hard, and then extremes coming later? Or is this hard and extreme? Do you think Odin kind of prepared us for this? Because there's no, there's not going to be an EX Odin. Like, you know what's it's funny there's about not even, that? There's, not, there's not even a hard. It's you, just... You know what's funny about that, though? If you, you go to the auto-translate and you type Earth's Fount, it says hard mode next to it. Huh. Oh, very strange. <laughs> I don't know why they did that, but it does say that for some reason. Hard I feel like maybe they sort of shot themselves in the foot with the naming early on, and now they're just trying to fix it. Uh, because... Before, when it was like the story mode and then hard mode and then extreme mode for like Ifrit, uh, Garuda, and all that, it sort of made sense. But then when they started adding extremes but not adding like story mode, I guess, or normal, they sort of just went with what they were doing and continuing on. And I think for the expansion, they're probably just trying to like start again and say, okay, normal mode is just like hard mode slash story mode. And then the hard mode is like the extreme. Uh, so I think they're just trying to clean up house. So you don't think we'll get an extreme load later on? Ah, uh, honestly, maybe. Maybe it'll be car called uh, something else. Maybe it'll Savage. be harder. Savage Titan. <laughs> Can't that, wait. God, that, that sounds... Oh, God, please, no. 
Listen, please. I'll I'll plan out the. Here, I'll make the fight for you right now. Here, we got this. Okay. Now. No, we're, we're, we're no. twenty-seven. It's like a radiant, a radial star pattern of landslides. Landslides. And, no, no, yeah. the landslide <laughs> just covers the whole thing. If you don't meet a DPS, <laughs> you check. have to get on your flying mount and get off the platform <laughs> physically. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of ways that could go, and it's funny because they, people ask, "Can you? Are you gonna do a, new difficulties for the old ones?" And they're like, "No, unless you want us to do another Titan." With a big smile and laugh on his face like that. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? You're going to be falling off just like Titan here as well anyway. So it might as well be another Titan difficulty. There are going to be falling to your death and being eliminated from the encounter type mechanics here. And it seems kind of normal considering they said Bismarck would be fought from an airship. Or they said they were planning that like a while, a while ago. What do you think? Do you guys want more Titans? Or do you want more? Yeah, we messed up, but we can get, we can, we got this. Kind of I mechanics. actually loved Titan. I really did. I loved fights that have this sort of like finality to your death, and because it really it makes you learn, right? So <laughs> when you have like such a like for example Titan, if you're falling off the platform constantly, I don't know if you guys have seen my blooper reels for that, but we made mm -hmm. so much fun of like our uh, our summoner cats because he was trying to res someone fell off the platform, and I can guarantee you he has like never made that mistake ever in his life again. So I feel like as a learning tool, having fights that are so, I guess, final and so important that you're actually doing things, uh, I don't know, I like them. I like them a lot. And they, they give you so much more satisfaction when you actually do complete them because you know that you went through all like this crazy hellfire to actually... Get your loot. Uh, I get it because you have to be different first. Ah, well, no, <laughs> not with the extremes. I kind of tried to. So. <laughs> I agree with Miz, but going back to what we were talking about the other week um, with this half, I kind of want the primal fights. I want to see something new. I want to see something other than a Tankin's Bank. It would be nice Vishap? to see something new. Yeah, like just like Vishap. I'm mean, not just saying like take Vishap and yeah, I know. Yeah, like yeah, not just saying like go. Like, it's going to go one way, and you got to stop it before you get there. But just something different. Just a different way of battling a primal. Like, I mean, it's, it's Bismarck. How the hell are we going to fight a freaking uh, Sky Whale? Like, Did you ever fight Sin in Final Fantasy X? That is true, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I had to do it because cause they're both whales. Anyway. Yeah. Well, he, Sin wasn't really a whale. It oh, was, Sin's a whale. Don't... It was... Sly, what would you call him if he's not a whale? Sky whale? He even goes... <laughs> like, he makes that loud noise that, like, whales make that, like, that, like only other whales can hear. Do so, it again, but better. <laughs> you can't. You can't do it. <sighs> Fuck it, he's a whale. <laughs> but for, for these uh, primals, they said that's when they mentioned the token system you mentioned before. Like, they didn't mention the token system for Alexander. When they came to the primals, though... They said that there will be a token system like the 1.0 one where every time you kill it, you get a token. You trade in those tokens for a, an item. It wasn't very clear if that means there's no items that drop and it's only tokens. I'd hope items still drop because that would be way lame if it was literally beat it five times, go get your weapon. But without any chance of anything else. Um, but that's where they'll do it. I'm hoping they implement it in other places as well. You know, Alexander, normal, may, might be, yeah. I mean, why not? If you can do it as many times as you want in a week, why not, right? Why not just add a token system there? And Savage. I don't know. But I just... If, the inner dev in me, if, I was, if it was me, I would just leave the tokens for whoever doesn't get the gear. So you're saying do both, like have uh, drops, and then along with the drops would be token drops. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. So if you, don't, if you pass on it, you can just get a token. Go about your way. Go about your business. Yeah, I would prefer it that way too, but that's probably like because it's the path of least resistance to gear. But yeah. uh, I feel like they might honestly do one or the other, I, f I think. Or maybe have some bosses, or I guess, no, that makes no sense. Never mind. On that note, <laughs> <laughs> new PvP map, yay! 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 We're all so excited. We don't know anything about it. We just know it's new. It's, it's all we know. And they showed us, like, two pictures of it with, like, a creek and a castle or something. I don't know. Maybe we attack the castle? Defend the base, maybe? Maybe that's its, it's defend the base kind of deal? Please you know? don't turn this into like a Like a tower FPS. defense? You don't even want to talk PvP right now, do you, Sly? I'm just saying, please don't turn into the FPS. I don't want, like, PvP can is... Get, can I get more killstreaks, bro? Yeah, yeah, can I... 
just regicide. What's next? Blitzball. Don't don't. New new game modes. Like we're gonna. Like, Can we don't... get capture the flag before Destiny? That's all I want. <sighs> capture the flag would be amazing. Like, I <laughs> Sly's making that face. <laughs> ruining. Ruining. Really? Game. How do you not like? What do you mean? I feel like capture the flag is essential in any sort of like PVP anything. It's such a good game. I love capture the flag. But mind you, I played like a druid in World of Warcraft, so. So you would just grab the flag, turn into oh, a yeah. cat, and just run. Completely remember. overpowered. Every time. Hey, it's, it could be worse. You could be a warlock with the portal and just <laughs> be really, really annoying. All right. There are new gears. Of course, new gears. Of course. Anyway, uh, new rewards and new gear that probably still won't matter. So <laughs> until they fix the wolves then, you know, it's all vanity. It looks like the Dark Knight's getting behemoth armor, though, which is pretty cool. I don't care if it's just for vanity or not. If a Dark Knight's a behemoth, I'm all for it. That's better than a bear or a lion, in my opinion. Server mascot. <laughs> Miss, which one do you want? Do you want? Do you want more lion? Do you, do you think that your paladin's even gonna get any love? Like, it doesn't it seem like they care about the BVP armor for the old jobs. Like, you're just gonna <laughs> keep recycling the colors. Probably. That's what I'm expecting. Just kind of like the artifact gear. It's just like a slight variation, but it's pretty much just the same thing. I don't know. It's funny, you're so excited for PvP, but as soon as we mention the gear, you're like, fuck it, nah, I don't care about that. <laughs> well, okay, because exactly. I love, okay, I don't know, I have this, again, love-hate relationship here, because in other games, I loved PvP. I loved it in WoW, I loved it in, like, did you guys play uh, Star Wars The Old Republic? Briefly. Did you guys play Huppal ever? Huppal was probably, like, the funnest thing. It was so chaotic and so hilarious. It was kind of like in Rift, uh, Black Garden, I think that's what it used to be called. I love called. Black Garden. Yeah, the same sort of idea where you're holding something and, you know, that makes you so much more vulnerable or... I don't know. But anyway, so PvP, I love. And I feel like in Final Fantasy, it, there's just... It's not there. It's completely lackluster. It doesn't interest me like World every other game. It for you, didn't it? Well, when Wolf's Den came out, I we played, I don't even know. We tried to play it a lot, but it was so boring. Like, it was just like, I don't know. It just Get was the healer. Not... Exactly. It was like, I played Warrior, so it was literally like, stay on the healer, home gang. Ugh. It was just not fun. Anyway, but um, I don't know. I feel like if they start to add things like capture the flag or even like some sort of defense, like tower defense, not so much... Uh, how they have it now, but more like a attack on the castle type thing. Do you guys play Orcs Must Die Unchained? Kind of that same idea. But I don't know. I feel like if they did that, it would bring a lot more people in. Maybe. I hope. I don't know. I feel like people don't do PvP just because A, the queues are awful, and two, there's two options to choose from. It gets boring, maybe. At least I think it and does. And one of them is mindless killing that has like mm -hmm. saw the very little strategy, and that's kind of the uh, one people will flock to because it's, it's just... It's the Call of Duty mentality. Just murder. Easy poetics, too. Yeah, very easy pose. Easy lights, easy pose, easy life. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's, let's move on to a maybe happier topic. To <laughs> free company housing and free company crafting. So they almost told us <laughs> nothing new. Oh, by the way, there was a pun in the chat I, wanted to, I was smiling about for 15 minutes there. It says, do you want to play Ms. Capture the Flag? Ms. Capture, I, or MTQ Capture the yeah, Flag. Yeah, that's I was what just, it was. <laughs> MTQ Capture the Flag, there you go. Yeah. Had to, I, I couldn't, that's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, back to the free company workshops. Almost nothing new here. Literally just almost nothing new. They put a name on the expeditionary voyages, which is where you just send the ship out and it comes back to you to let you know, hey, there's an island there. Um, we'll be able to go there eventually, just not in 3.0. In 3.1, we'll be able to go to those islands, fight bosses, gather sweet loots, and come back. Explain how the airships work. They explain that there's, like, glamour for houses, which is silly because houses were already basically a giant glamour system. But you'll be able to more fine-tune them using free company crafting, like give it more unique looks, new furnishings for your houses. Uh, yeah, yes. Excited? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Kind of. Me. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> The mustache up. came back on. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I know, like, there are people, I guess, in RFC that would be quite interested in that. But, I don't know. I'm, like, excited for it in theory, but I think once we actually have to start doing the work, 
we'll, we'll talk about it then. Yeah. Like the I, hunt, like like, like the yeah. hunt where it was like, wow, open world mm-hmm. bosses. Then we got there, we're like, oh. Yep, exactly. Where's the next like, one? I'll just uh, I'll just wait until t- they uh, actually bring it out, so I, we know what we're talking about instead of this. I don't know. But we don't know. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Uh, all right, and then they had a bunch of new stuff. They had more, you know, retainers, higher levels, more ventures, new challenge logs, which pissed me off because the the <laughs> slide said sightseeing logs, and I got so excited, I was so happy for more sightseeing logs. <laughs> this is looking at me like, shut up, shut <laughs> up, with her uh. with her mustache, with her totally legit not taped on mustache. <laughs> It took me a long time to grow this, okay? Yeah. It's not, all, all of about eight minutes from the last time you had <laughs> it on. Um, Ishgardian market boards, you know. I don't know why they didn't just say market boards in Ishgard, where they called them Ishgardian markets, like it was like a new system. Because it's Ishgard. Oh. Maybe they look different. Right. Different taxes is the only thing I imagine. You sell them out of an Ishgard. If you don't buy it in Ishgard, you pay a tax. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. 20 new triple triad cards. Wow, you guys are not fun because <laughs> triple triad. I mean, I, I play triple. Completely. I play triple triad every now and then, and I get my ass spanked every time I play somebody else. I still need to get more cards. I'm still mm-hmm. trying to get one from Tartaru because she's the new Rowena. She's a bitch. She really is. Like... I know. I haven't but... had much time. To like, do any of that. Tartaru's just a new Rowena. She's just unfair. She, it's, her random such bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you whispering? <sighs> That's it's because the rage is like bubbling up. He doesn't want to let it, it all out. No, just keeping it in. He's trying to maintain control. And they're going to be going back and revisiting some old 2.x content. More echo in some places, nerfs in some places, and uh, yeah, that's totally necessary. With Ten more levels. Moving on. <laughs> there, there were actually quite a few things uh, specifically about old content that I find I found interesting. Um, ability to do duties with less than the required number, as in go into a dungeon solo. Finally, with your chocobo. Without your no, you can't bring your chocobo. Don't come don't on. Get a, don't get ahead of yourself, Sly. You're you're asking for a lot right now. You need to calm down, Sly. Here, you, so, Sly, you can't see my hand. I right. have a right to be requested. Wait, you don't even like Bandit. I <laughs> <laughs> like my Chocobo. He just does dumb shit. Then why do you want him in a dungeon? <laughs> okay, I don't have the pacify anything in a dun in a dungeon. In a dungeon, I can just say like, go ham, and he's gonna go ham. <laughs> oh, Sly, you can't bring him. You're not allowed to bring Bandit. <sighs> okay. No friends allowed. No friends allowed. Well, you're allowed to bring friends. You can bring you go in a four man dungeon with one, two, three people. You can do that. And not only that, but the item level sync and the level sync part is optional. Check oh, really? is the glory. Yes. Hmm. That's cool. So and but if you select it, it doesn't it's not like now where it takes you to one ten in like item level fifty dungeons. It takes you to the minimum required to enter. Like a challenge mode. Like, hey, this is how this was when it was relevant. I guess the question there is, is then is it more beneficial? Is it like the way sync is now where it makes it like white level gear? Or like if you wanted to do that, would you actually want to go out of your way to get a full set of item level like 55 gear to go do like Labyrinth of the Ancients? <laughs> I, I think if one. anything, people will use it for like glamour. That's it. That's all I can – like when they first announced it, that's all I thought of. I'm like, okay, it'll just be easier to go and like farm for your glamour pieces. But more than that, I don't know. What about Maybe farming extremes really with only two people? That might ponies. be cool. Sure. Oh, yes. That. Mm. Mounts, ponies. I need that now. <laughs> <laughs> we all need that now. We all want we our do. appearance. Yeah. Just stick Fenrir in the mount. Stick Fenrir in Snowcloak, please. Uh, yeah. So that's going to be a new feature. Um, yeah. So the time attack mode. Time attack mode is a part of that whole big challenge mode, you know, where it's to put you down to the minimum. I guess turn three with the minimum was fun. <laughs> Fun. Turn three was great. <laughs> it was only great when you like tried to ignore everything and just like ran to the end. What was great about it is I remember I think it was like BG and Collision had beaten it and had beaten two and then they were immediately on four and everyone's like, How the hell did they get the four so quick? And yeah. they were like, dude, I don't know, man. Three was the hardest thing. And then we got in there, we're like, Are you 
Are you fucking kidding me right now? Is this all this is? We're just running mm -hmm. to the bottom. <laughs> It's the hardest turn. Raid. You can do a 24 man tank raid right now. Why not? Has Zeno done 24 Warrior World of Darkness? How has he not? How has he not organized that yet? Zeno, if you're watching, make it happen. We need this. Loot system revamp. Uh, we kind of went over some of these before with the token system with uh, Alexander Normal, but they're actually adding real like modes for your looting a loot master system where one person is the designated loot master and they assign where each piece of gear goes and you have the all greed system where no one's allowed to need armor you're only allowed to greed or pass now these systems are only available in pre-made parties you will not have to deal with this in the duty finder ever and they're optional you could leave it the way it is now are you guys i, I mean i've been playing mmos for a long time loot master to me is standard like, mm -hmm. organized raid should have the loot master system. I've only, I can only see so many Dragoon Pants hit the floor because not enough people passed before the person left to see this happen. What do you guys think? I'm glad it's coming in. <laughs> I honestly was pretty surprised that they didn't have this type of loot master uh, at the very beginning. And for the most part, I guess it's not entirely necessary because uh, I don't know how most other groups work, but for example, RFC basically works on like a loot master slash loot council system uh even with the need greed and so for us it would just make that easier and i know there was a lot of like i actually read a lot about this on reddit and apparently not a lot of people are excited for this they don't like it but Ninjas. i don't know why <laughs> well it's i mean like, you don't have to lot use of, it you're giving a lot of people trust you are trusting no but i'm assuming if you're going in a pre-made it's going to be either your fc it's going to be your static it's going to be people that you generally know or the party finder i that's, guess <laughs> that's where the worry is yeah i forgot about that <laughs> mm -hmm. the thing but is you do have the I, options like the person says hey it's loot master okay i'm not going yeah like you don't have to do it it's not like a set in stone for every group from now on right it's just if you have that trust there, or if you're with people that you know can be okay, you can, then like, it's good. Like, it just makes it easier. You can have a douchey loot master. You can really have a... And that's for PF, probably, more than anything else. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, the communities know who people are when you're in the party finder a lot. There has to be a good way to legislate this. That's what I'm saying. It just can't be... I think um, it'll, like, it would police itself, though. So say, for example, you're using Party Finder as this example of like, these scumbags okay. existing. But okay. if you did like, do a party, mas or a party Finder where someone like, ninja'd something using Loot Master, I'm pretty sure the entire server would know. Like, it's, it would just, like, the reputation of that person would just completely get destroyed. People would know what to expect. Uh, and it's not like, uh, I don't know, I feel like because of that threat people won't be scumbags. Again, maybe I'm just being super nice. Maybe I'm a little bit too Canadian right now, but I feel like it's it's not as bad. It's not like the apocalypse. Uh, rate your loot master would be a good idea. <laughs> I mean... Rate your loot master. Name changes are pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Buy up that domain. That's true. I don't know. And honestly, like it did happen a couple of times in like previous MMOs where people do... Ninja, like very, very special items like that, and then just server transfer. But mouth <sighs> especially, if those are yep. ever in like, like dude, I, an onion knight will rip apart a server. <laughs> Wind up onion knight. <laughs> Someone in the chat brought something up. I was about to get to this. One of the most common things I've seen the loot master system used for is what's known as the auction system, where a loot master makes a raid group. And he auctions off spots into the raid group. It doesn't auction off the spots, but you join the raid group, and he's the loot master. You want to guarantee you get this piece of loot? People auction on it. It's like a weapon drops. I'll pay 500. I'll pay 500k. I'll pay a mil. I'll pay 1.5 mil. Sold to that guy. Congratulations, sir. That's very, very common. It's more common in things that have weekly lockouts than it is in anything else. But it is a possibility with the loot master system. We may see a return of the player auction system. I used to see it in WoW all the time. What do you guys think? You're talking about like GDKP? Yeah. Like where, yeah. That, yeah. Just say yeah. Uh, I feel like I honestly don't see too much of a negative and stuff like that because you have the option as a player to choose not to go into those groups if you don't like it, right? And for the people that actually do want to enter it, it seems like a perfect way for them to like actually do content while also perhaps getting money or loot or you know like 
I never, like, GDKP I thought was pretty cool because no matter what you went in for, you always got something out, whether it be loot or money. So, I don't know. It's, I, again, because you have the option to, like, completely avoid it if you don't like it, I don't see no, nothing wrong with it. I'm glad that there's the options there. Like, the choices are there. More interestingly, according to the chat, Yoshi P flat out said there will be a system in the game to help you with the system, to help you with the auctioning. Mm -hmm. Something I, I mean, it was definitely wasn't on any of the slides, but there's quite a few people saying that he did actually say the game will help you out with this. <laughs> very, very interesting for them to put that in with how much you know selling runs is kind of hated by the community. And that's what I was about to say. Why, like, to me, it's just. Like it incentivizes it, kind of incentivizes, not necessarily selling runs. It kind of incentivizes guild selling to a certain extent. But um, yeah, just throwing money at armor or weapons, yeah, you know, kind of seems same, along the same lines as selling runs. And I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So I, I think it's like, another one of those things where, like, until we actually see just how it's implemented, mm -hmm. it's really hard to say whether or not it'll be good. Because it could be something just as, like, you know, not at all bad and scary and can be abused. Uh, but the I'm glad you kind of brought up the RMT stuff because it does sort of concern me. Anytime there's that option to buy something, it just, it's like, it makes people want to buy gold or, you know go to such extremes mm -hmm. uh, to do stuff like that, which I don't really agree with. I don't like it when uh, there are things in MMOs that kind of not really force people because obviously they're not being forced, but again, people will do the path of least resistance, right? And so buying gold when that's like the absolute easiest, I just don't want to see that happening a lot because RMT is already bad enough as it is, right? Especially in this game. It's terrible. I feel like they all banded together every RMT website in existence, and they said, "All right, we're gonna we're gonna go after them right now." They've this is the last time they've screwed us over. There was an organized raid of Limp Mints on every server. I think a week ago, when RMT when RMT went to every server, started spamming shout chat. That's insane. If it gets worse, I'm hoping Ishgard being locked behind a quest would maybe limit that to some <laughs> degree. But considering I see so many black mages underground, who the hell knows? <laughs> <laughs> They'll find a way around. They will find a way, and it will be underground. <laughs> it will be in a tunnel. Um, so a few other things. DX11 client, again, it's free. It's optional. It's separate client. It's for PC. Hooray. Hooray. Upgrade to DX11 if you, got, if you don't have a potato. Um <laughs> If atomic any, toaster. Yeah, atomic toaster and or potato. Uh, so they kind of ended with something that we knew about. This was the end of the important information. After this, they had an interview with the guy who makes like cutscenes. They showed off the turn 12 cutscene alongside the end of an era, called it the Flames of Truth cutscene. An interview with that guy, we're not going to go over. So this is pretty much the highlight of then they went through the release schedule of the content. Which was interesting, because up to this point, we knew Early Access was June 19th, June 23rd was the launch. We also knew Alexander, Normal, and Hard were going to be, or Savage, two weeks apart. They didn't make it clear with the wording before, though. So two weeks after launch, not Early Access, launch, Alexander, Normal will be unlocked. So we got two weeks, level, story, unless you're Miz. Um, <laughs> <laughs> new jobs. But there's quite a few things you can't do for even those, like, first four weeks. Because two weeks after Alexander Normal launches, Alexander Savage is launched alongside the weekly tombstones, Esoterics, and the new PvP map. So there won't be a new PvP map for the first month. You won't be able to cap Esoterics for the first month, and Alexander Savage will not be until four weeks after launch. Maybe the story is just so good that they just want absolutely... And you'll never know. I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be sitting there, everyone will be like, why don't you watch the cutscenes? Evil people don't watch cutscenes. <laughs> Twirl your mustache. <laughs> okay, now I want to watch all the cutscenes. Wait, wait to, wait. Because you have all this time to watch. It's true. Like, I, honestly, I think that's just why they're doing it, because they really want people to appreciate the story, which I'm sure it's amazing. 
uh, and I guess maybe I'll watch it. We'll see. We'll see. But I don't know. I feel like they don't want people to feel pressure that they should be skidding, or skipping cutscenes. I don't know if <laughs> they're trying to maybe avoid the like rage and castrum and praetorium where people are like, oh my god, watch the cutscenes in the inn. Like, I think they just want people to enjoy the game, which I think a lot of us has, have uh, lost touch with, right? So maybe they're just trying to bring us back to that. But sorry, can't last four weeks. <laughs> That's true. I feel like, you know, a week into the launch, uh, we're probably going to have a lot of, like, people just twiddling their thumbs and getting a little antsy. But eh, we'll see. Again, we don't know anything. So who knows? Maybe the actual main scenario quest line is, like, 800 hours, which I know they've already said it's not going to be that long. But who knows? Sly, thoughts? We're going to have a ton of shit to do. We'll be fine. You I, mean, think I so? know it's a month. It's <laughs> a right. month. It, we just have a ton of shit to do. You want, we have to, a, you want me to fix that for you so I can tell you all the shit you have to do? <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Dragoon to 60. Any of mm -hmm. the new jobs to 60. Any job mm -hmm. that you actually needed to 60. Any crafters or gatherers to 60. <laughs> two, primals, <laughs> <laughs> two primals, a story, and then you get to twiddle your thumbs. So I hope you like fates, Sly. I hope you like fates. Hopefully the high-level fates have some gear so there's incentive to be on to do them and not, like, not item level 55 gear like Odin and Behemoth, but, like, gear that will actually be of use to you. Or minions. That's or always minions. a good be incentive. Of use to you. Mm -hmm. Or they'll give you drops that you can trade in for minions if you don't want them. Like Who doesn't Odin's. want minions? What? <laughs> and listen, I might want that. Item, I might want that 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 new headpiece or something. It would be good if, with all this break time, those high level fates were useful for our characters in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Yeah, four weeks. It's a lot of time. I actually wanted to PvP for the first four weeks because I saw Alexander Savage. I was like, yes, speed Alexander normal, and then just go PvP. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Sadness. <laughs> And also, the, the scripts are still going to be in there for weekly caps. So the fact, I guess Esoterics is literally just like, hey, we want you to have no advantages going into Savage. Mm -hmm. oh, we don't want you. Your, your crafted gear won't matter. It's going to be good for normal, and that's it. Because <laughs> they know it'll be cleared in like a day. So they're just trying everything that they can think of to slow down that super fast world first clear. Leveling process is not part of the world first clear anymore. Apparently, it's <laughs> just, be, just be there and win. It's all it is. Be there and win. That's <laughs> what you do. Yeah, Esoteric's launch was Savage, so they yeah, want you to have nothing. And that was pretty much the uh, the end of it. We have Nico Nico Chokagi in uh, in a couple weeks. I believe it's April 20... What's a, what's a Saturday? It's like 26th or 28th. I can't remember. Something like that. It's, it's, in, it's in a couple of weeks. So we'll have some new information there. The benchmark, I know a lot of people are wondering, where's the benchmark? That as well. Uh, there was like a minute and a half teaser. Did you guys see that teaser? There was like a minute and a half teaser of the benchmark where they showed off a Dark Knight, a Ninja, an Astrologian, and a Machinist. Like, briefly. You guys you both look that. shocked to hear this. I am yeah, shocked. I, 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 I kind of like, missed that. Like, where was that? It was, are you talking was, about the thing where, like, the previous live letter? Is this... No. No. So what is happened is just now? before the live letter 20 went live, they had like a test, like a test broadcast. <sighs> and they and you know how they always accidentally leak things during the fest. Oops. Oops. Yep. Yeah, they played like a minute of the of the benchmark and uh and then Yoshi P comes, Why are you doing this? And he had them on their <laughs> knees praying for forgiveness. I thought he was gonna make oh, them yes, commit Sudoku. I... Oh man, I did see that, but I didn't see like the reason for it. So I think yeah. I just completely whoosh over my head. That's cool. Is is that online? Can we watch that? Yeah, you Probably. can just go to their past broadcast. I'm sure somebody's They're posted it on Reddit before. Yeah, you can get it okay. in a number of places. Oh, man. Oh, God, the Miz puns in the chat. The Miz puns are amazing. <laughs> I just keep reading them. I keep missing them. <laughs> uh, oh, sly. But on, uh, on that note, that's all we really have to, uh, to talk about for. Uh, that's all, you know, an hour and a half, an hour yeah. and 40 minutes later. That's all we have to talk <laughs> yeah. about. Um, quickly, before... 
anybody goes anywhere, we want to make a big announcement. Now, you may not know this, but despite the internet thinking Miz and I hate each other, her presence here is, is proof of otherwise. I think, at least. I don't know. The Just mustache makes me think she hates Just me still. So. I can see you. I saw you the whole time you were throwing your dukes up. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, other way for me. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Where's Mel? Oh, Mel's I, not there. I think, she... it, I think it's this way right now. Hey, I gotta... Yeah, am I going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. Uh, Sly, stop us. Where I'm... <laughs> I can't even see big you. Whoop, big, whoop the wanna fight about it. big whoop uh. wanna fight about it. <laughs> it's funny because it's not like my camera reaches over to you. It's like if it's like if two boxers were on opposite side of the rings just like waving their hands at each other. Yeah. We're too scared to actually get near near each other. It's but... like that fight between SpongeBob and Patrick where they're just like, <laughs> Should I be doing the let's get ready to rumble? Yes. Is this, where wanna, is that? Do it? It's funny because you're saying it at the end, so it's like as if the yeah, I mean, already knocked out, and he's like, yeah. we're, a little, we're a little confused. We'll do yeah. better next do, time. Just no, just do it. I want I want to hear your best impression of it, Sly. I want people to hear this. God, I forget what he says. Let's get ready to rumble. Dude. No, it's a it's a whole spiel before. <laughs> uh, In the left corner, we have. Just uh, give us your best. Let's get ready to rumble. Here, do you want me to get the music for you? <laughs> For the millions in Aortia. For the fans around the world. Oh, let's get ready to rumble! That was ding, perfect! Ding, 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 ding. That was so good. There we go. You there look like go. a little Max Trainer, apparently. <laughs> so, I don't uh, have the chocolate bar. I don't have the chocolate bar. So, <laughs> so this, despite what the internet might think, we're actually on a network called the dream network on twitch uh started as a bunch of final fantasy 14 twitch streamers but we tend to stream kind of just whatever we want just whenever whenever we want to stream something else we don't just stream 14 but we're on the same team and we're proud to announce that we have a new member joining the team actually already joined i don't know why i'm saying joining he already knows about it pharos pharos f-a-h-r-o-s if you're on youtube oh, I'll put brother. His... welcome you're my boy blue you're my boy, Blue. You gotta give him your regular, your regular yeah. welcome, my friend. Pharos is a, is a cool guy. You've been following him for some time now. He used to do YouTube videos as part of the fighting game community. And he's a really cool guy. He's got a girlfriend named Courtney who helps us with a lot of stuff. She's great for him. She's a great addition to the team as well, both Pharos and Courtney. So welcome, both of you, to the Dream Team. Everybody, be sure to show them some love. Uh, it's great to have you. Also, next week's show, we will have Mithri to talk about that whole crafting section that we messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that one that we kind of skipped It's kind of awkward where we're like, wow, we all hate this. Yeah, we're like, oh, on. this is awful. It's like <laughs> peeling back your fingernails. Just kidding. Oh I'm my sure God, crafting there's is a wonderful. friggin' pun about his name, Pharaoh Sirius. <laughs> <laughs> God. That's oh awesome. Oh my god. I, you you mispronounced it. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> On it's that so good. note, it's so good. we should probably start wrapping up the show. <laughs> before so, more puns. <laughs> before there's any more puns. So, as our guest for the show, I don't think she needs much introduction. I'm pointing the wrong way again for whatever reason. MTQ Capture, a.k.a. Misek, thank you for joining us. Where can they find you if they somehow don't already know? Ah, uh, right here, which happens to be at twitch.tv slash MTQ Capture. Uh, surprisingly, my Twitter is also twitter.com slash MTQ Capture. YouTube slash mtq capture i have absolutely no imagination when it comes to branding myself online so if you ever need to find me anywhere it's probably mtq capture <laughs> you heard it <laughs> yep it's that simple i'm not a complicated person good because my <laughs> outro for my co-host is a little bit more complicated than that <laughs> and we have our regular weekly co-host we have samuel sly aka sly the fox aka sly aka gray fox aka you're my boy blue oh my god you're my boy, blue. <laughs> just read another pun we need to sly where can they sly where can they find you <laughs> you can find me on twitch.tv slash sly aka gray fox um on twitter at sly the fox you can find me in game on behemoth aka the cool kids table because that's where me and miz are Happy needs to get with the program. Um, he hasn't left that like little tutorial area. Uh, you can find me on Behemoth, Boxfly, and yeah, that's pretty much it. 
the MTQ. That is MizTech, right? That's just short for MizTech. It is, yes. Okay. I was just making sure because somebody asked, and I was like, it's that, right? Is yeah, it it's that? just like an abbreviation. <laughs> it's funny because I have a hard time getting MTQ. Like, I don't know why I always want to say just MT capture. I don't know. Like, I feel like the Q and the C <laughs> capture. go That's together. It. Like, it's capture or something like that. <laughs> That's what I used to think when I first saw it. And the final host signing off. Michael, Mr. Happy Poveromo. You can find me, YouTube, Xehanort1227, which is lame because never make a YouTube account in 2006 or 2007 and use it like 10 <laughs> years later. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. Um, and everything else, Mr. Happy127, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, all that fun stuff. But anyway, thank you, both of you. <laughs> mustache. <laughs> the faces. Oh. It just, it switched over. She's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, we are signing off. Please Goodbye, everyone. Oh. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> everyone wave. Are you waving? This is totally not I was not pretty the... jealous of you guys uh, yeah. last week waving. It was yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, we're waving. <laughs> this is the best. This is the most awkward outro of all it time. It is. Goodbye. I wonder how, how long can we go? Forever. Well, we can not. literally go forever. I'm, switch I'm switching the slide now. Wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow. Don't switch to me. No, I'm not switching. I'm switching the slide, I said. Oh. So it's our <laughs> outro. All right, I'm done waiting. I wait longer than okay. the rest of you. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. It was awesome. Are we allowed to speak here? <laughs> I'll cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we immediately go into post.